I keep stirring, Evelyn, because in there are two boxes like this, about two pounds of cornstarch and three cups of water. So I want you to stir it all up real good. You seem to hesitate at the bottom. Why? It's really hard at the bottom. and yeah. That's because it settles down. That's why I want you to keep stirring it. And at the top, it gets real creamy. Yeah. It looks good enough to eat, doesn't it? <laughs> well, we're not going to eat it. What we're going to do is you keep stirring it. We're going to pour it into that tray. And as soon as we get a nice layer on the tray, then I want you to come over here like this and take your hand and go like that. Really? Yeah. No matter, you think it's going to splatter? Yeah. Well, watch. I'll do it first. And you'll see a very remarkable property of cornstarch. Are you ready? Yeah. Where'd you go? Come back. <laughs> Look at that. Now, the reason why this works is that cornstarch is a very unusual kind of molecule in that if you don't put much pressure on it, it ha it's very runny. You see how runny it is? But when you put pressure on it, the molecules tend to link together to form long chains and they become almost like a solid. In fact, they're now down at the bottom, so I'll stir it all up and then I want you to do it. Okay? Okay. The harder you do it, the better it is because the more pressure you put on it, why the more like a solid it'll become. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, one more. And Evelyn, down real hard, as hard as you can with your hand. Go! Okay. That's weird. Isn't it? See how watery it is, and yet it didn't splatter one little tiny drop except where I dripped over here. Come on over to the sink, we'll clean it up. And do you remember now what the ingredients are? Yeah, two cups of cornstarch. And, and that's two pounds. Yeah, and three cups of water. Of water. You stir it up real good, then you can slap it like that real hard. And the harder you slap it, the more like a solid it becomes, even though it is a liquid. 